Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 3rd May 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Senior Deputy Editor Irma Fenter reveals that South Africa's largest boat builder is eyeing a growing share of the global ocean cruising catamaran market. It's easy to overlook the sheer magnitude of Robertson and Kane's operations in Cape Town, which has 10 boat building factories across the city. Other numbers, however, make it easier to appreciate the scale of the catamaran builder, such as the fact that the company employs more than 2,400 people and one boat rolls off an assembly line almost every weekday of the year. The engineering news features focus on local manufacturing, where a short-term insurance product is extended to SMMEs. Agricultural technology, where access to farming equipment boosts mechanization, and truck, trailer, bus and bucky, where a braking company is developing an African presence. The Mining Weekly features focus on open cost mining, where a mine focuses on steady state production, technology and cost saving. This week's business leader is John Harris, the Executive Director for Business Solutions and Finance at Infinitus Reporting Solutions. And as this week's cartoon shows, with the poll suggesting that the ANC is unlikely to secure an outright majority in this year's election, much attention has been given to coalition politics. While this is arguably an inevitable outcome of our proportional representation system, many voters are rightfully concerned given the poor performance of many municipal coalitions. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.ca.za. Happy reading and see you next time.